Now, normally we don't have men on the stage, now do we, Tracy? Nope, we do not, we do not, Regina, but it is very exciting when we do. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Here to present the Star Power Award, please welcome the man who put the Smith on Jada Pinkett. Will Smith. <laughs> Y'all just happy to have just a little bit of testosterone in the room, that's all. <laughs> I am deeply honored uh, to be here for this next presentation to my wife. <laughs> I want, you know what, I, they, they, they had stuff they wanted me to say, but I, just, I really just wanna say what I wanna say. Um, <laughs> so about a year ago, I was, uh, I was laying in the bed with Jada uh, wait, no, not like that. Don't be like that. Uh, <laughs> so it's like six o'clock in the morning, right? I'm laying there and it's beautiful and I'm watching her and she's asleep. So I get a Google alert and it's a TMZ reports, Jada Pinkett Smith files for divorce, right? So I'm, like, I'm laying in the bed with Jada, right? <laughs> so I'm looking, I'm like, <laughs> this is crazy. And I'm like, wait a minute. <laughs> hey, babe. <laughs> she said, why? I said, babe, um, where, was, where was you at yesterday? <laughs> she said, boy, what are you talking about? I'm saying for like 20 minutes, I didn't know where you was at. Did you? She said, just go to sleep, right? So I sat there, but in that brief moment, like my, my heart jumped for a second. And I started to imagine, like, what my life would have been like without that woman. You know? And we've been together for 20 years, and I started... <laughs> I started thinking about all of the things I watched this woman do. I met her during the uh, low down dirty shame time, right in there. Little peaches, little peaches, you know. <laughs> Saw her on Different World, and I was like, mm, I need that in my life. <laughs> um, I've seen all of her work. I held her hand while she gave birth to two beautiful babies, you know. Um, that, actually, I, I held her foot, because I wanted to see the babies, but, you know. <laughs> but I was touching her is the point. Um, I watched this woman at Ozfest singing as the lead singer in a metal band. And as I thought about what my life would be like and what the world would be like with, with, without her, it made me sad and I'm just standing here today happy that TMZ had it wrong. <laughs> So let's roll the clip before I lose my action hero. When I was first coming into the game, there were so many opportunities for African Americans in television and movies. We've had a certain amount of staying power also. You sure you're all right with that? Oh. And Hollywood welcomed us. I think that that door started to close a bit and now it's starting to reopen again and is reopening in a big way. For the last couple of years, I've really been working hard behind the camera to participate in the creation of projects. I love getting into things that people say black women can't do. I was told, you know, black girls can't rock. Black girls can't do rock and roll. It's really about us women giving ourselves the freedom to be individuals and to be unique. I have very real conversations with my daughter. I think that we need to talk more about who you were and who I want to be. Mm. And All right. I think it's worked out really well because she has a lot of trust in me. 
We spend so much of our time trying to figure out how to be liked, how to be accepted. Here's my thing. You want people to treat you like a queen? You gotta act like one. And that's a journey. There is nothing that I will be more proud of than my family. My family and my marriage will be the masterpiece I leave behind. I'm Jada Pinkett Smith, and I am a black girl who rocks. You're living your dreams out loud, baby, for modeling an alternate way of being in this world. I present to you, along with BET, the Black Girls Star Power Award. Baby, come on, get it. I want to thank you for this honor while I take the time to recognize all the power in this room that each and every woman possesses here tonight and who's watching. I need you to understand, we are the women that marched from cotton fields into fields of medicine, politics, law, education, entertainment. We even found a way to march ourselves into the White House as the first lady of the United States of America. And I say we because it's my belief that we do this together. Any achievement that any woman makes is an achievement for us all. Any slight that any of us takes is a slight to us all. And when we still have to read headlines in prominent magazines that the surge of people of color on TV may be too much of a good thing, we know we got a long way to go. But I'm gonna tell you, that's what makes this night right here special. I wanna thank Bev and I wanna thank Deborah for creating this platform where we can come together and celebrate one another, celebrate our beauty, celebrate our magnificence, celebrate our glory, where we can validate each other and say, you're enough as you are. Because we are enough as we are. And this right here, I want to thank you for allowing me to take this symbol home of what we've done together and what we have yet to do together. Because this right here, this right here is ours. This right here is ours. And as my little Afro-futurist Willow tells me, <laughs> I am you, you are me. We are one. I love you guys. Thank you so much.